privacy. I'm pretty sure this is something that you worry about, right? So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you a few settings that you could change to improve your privacy and also your battery life. But before we get started, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this type of videos and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. So starting off, the first thing that we're gonna do is press on settings and of course, choose privacy. Here, make sure you press on location services. And here, what we're going to do is we are not going to disable the whole location services. So what we're going to do is we are going to check all of the applications here in this list. And we're going to see if there's any application that has my location that I've been sharing my location without the need to. So as I quickly took a look here, I don't have any applications that I'm sharing my location without the need to, but for example, Facebook, I have it set to never. If by any chance it was set to always, you could come here to this setting and choose as next time while using the app or never. I'm gonna choose never because I don't need Facebook to have my location anytime but if you want you can put just while using the app I would say that this is the one that I use the most while using it makes more sense to me but make sure you go through this whole list and change the location um, access according to your needs now we're gonna go all the way down and we're gonna press on system services here, I already have a lot of these settings enabled or disabled, so I'm gonna share with you the ones that I suggest you to disable or enable. So here I have Apple Pay Merchant Identification, I would leave this off. Cell Network Search, I would also leave this off. And the thing about this is that you're not going to not have service on your iPhone because you're disabling this. This is mainly if you're traveling abroad and then your cell phone is going to be looking for other um, cell networks. So if you're not traveling abroad, I would suggest you to disable it. Same thing for Compass Calibration, I would also disable it, device management, disable it, emergency calls and SOS, leave it enabled, find my iPhone, also leave it enabled. If you by any chance to lose your iPhone, I'm pretty sure you will want to have access to its location, so make sure to leave it enabled. And something important to consider here is that all of these settings on system services, they are not really um, concerning about privacy however they are going to drain a lot of your battery because they will be constantly getting your location so that's why i am disabling a lot of this same thing for the apps that we just changed so HomeKit, I have it disabled and I highly recommend you do the same unless you do use the HomeKit and you need HomeKit to use your location. For example, if you have smart lights and they are connected to your HomeKit app and you have a setting there that whenever you leave your home, you leave your apartment, your lights turn off. If you use something like that, some feature that needs your location, leave it on. I don't use it, so I will leave it off. I would also disable location-based alerts, location-based suggestions, and leave motion calibration and distance on if you use your iPhone or Apple Watch to track your workouts. So if you run, for example, and you track your workout on your Apple Watch or your iPhone, make sure to leave this on because it will be constantly improving the accuracy of your pace, your distance, and everything else that you track while running. With this enabled, it also improves the accuracy when GPS is not available. So I would leave it on unless you do not ever track your workout or anything like that. For networking and wireless, I'm going to leave this on because this is the setting for ultra wideband. So for example, if you use an air tag or something like that, you may want to leave it on. I am going to be honest with you guys. I'm not sure if by disabling this, um, the air tag would not work properly. I don't think this is actually how it works, but I'm leaving it enabled just in case because I don't want to lose its 
functionality. Um, setting time zone, disable it unless you are traveling abroad. So once again, just like the cell network search, this works to uh, set your time zone to um, change your time zone according to where you are. So if you're not traveling right now, you can leave it disabled and if by any chance you're traveling in a month, whenever you get to the new destination, you can enable this, so wait for your iPhone to um, change the time zone and then disable it again because you don't need to be checking your time zone all the time. Share my location, I have it enabled because I do share my location with family and friends at the Find My app. Um, if you do not use this feature, you can disable it because it will save you battery. System customization, I would disable it. Wi-Fi calling, disable it. You don't need to leave it enabled again unless you're traveling abroad. So I will leave it disabled. And now let's press on significant locations. This needs my face ID. And as you can see here, my iPhone has a lot of my previous locations. So here there's a, a, a short explanation for it. This allows your iPhone and iCloud connected devices to learn places significant to you in order to provide useful location related information in maps, calendar, photos, and more. Significant locations are end to end encrypted and cannot be read by Apple. So this is very uh, private. Nobody's having access to your location. I trust Apple in this case. However, this is going to be draining my battery as well. So why would we leave it on, right? So disable it. Now we're going to go back once and right here at the bottom, there is iPhone, analytics and routing and traffic. Again, I disabled both of them. Make sure you do that. And this is for product improvement. So this is going to help Apple improve their products. So the traffic, the routing and traffic one, for example, is going to get information from your iPhone and send it to Apple so they can improve the maps, routing and traffic information. I currently do not use maps, so I don't think I need to improve the map situation right now. So again, I'm not sharing my location. I am going to save battery. And now we're gonna go back one more time. Let's go back one more time. And what we're gonna do here is press on tracking. Here, I highly suggest you disable the option to allow apps to request to track. Here we can see that allow apps to ask to track your activity across other companies, apps, and websites. When this is off, all new app tracking requests are automatically denied. So what this does is it doesn't allow any applications that you have on your iPhone to track um, your activity outside of the app. A lot of applications do track your activity in the app and outside the app, and then they collect all of your information, including email, sometimes phone number, and they create your digital profile and they share this with other companies. They even sell your information to other companies in order to give them, in order actually to give you more targeted ads. So I don't think you want your information to be running around across internet and in order for you to receive more targeted ads. I would like to keep my information private and I would only share what I really need to share. So I highly recommend you disable this feature um, but if by any chance you want to choose the applications that you want to disable, you could enable it right here and then choose the apps that you want to disable or enable. Once again, I'm suggesting you guys to disable it. And now we're going to go back and we're going to choose photos. Here, I highly recommend you guys go through this list and make sure that the applications that have access to your photos are applications that need access to your photos. If you see an application that have access to your photos, but it doesn't need to, make sure you change to none. So right here, I changed the messenger to none. So make sure you come here 
and press on none. Let's see one application that I could do this again. So the Teza app, it actually needs access to my photos, but I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, press here and then you can choose selected photos or none. Then you just go back and that's it. And if by any chance you changed the access for an application that you didn't want to change, you can definitely come back to this setting and enable it again. You don't have to worry about being it, it being disabled forever. You can always come back to it. So now that we did this for photos, we're gonna do the same thing for camera. So here we're going to make sure that all of the applications that have access to your camera are the applications that need access to your camera. So here I have Amazon, Authenticator, Bank of America, Fetch Rewards. All of these do need my camera. Messenger doesn't, so I disable it. So make sure you disable the ones that don't need access to your camera. My fitness spell does need access because I always scan barcodes with it. Sam's Club, Target doesn't need it. Actually, Sam's Club, I'm not using it right now, so I'm gonna disable it. Telegram, all of these are correct. So make sure you go through all of the applications that are showing up on the list and disable the ones that don't need access to your camera. Now we're going to go back to privacy and go all the way down and press on analytics and improvements. All of this information is being collected on your iPhone and they are all sent to Apple in order to improve Apple products and Apple apps. So as you can see here, I disabled all of them. I highly recommend you do the same thing because once again, all of this information is being collected from your iPhone and it's sent to Apple to improve their product and app, uh, products and apps. So this is going to, again, drain battery life. If you do not want to use your battery for this, make sure you disable it. And now we're gonna go back one more time and press on Apple Advertising. Here again, I highly recommend you disable personalized ads, which uh, what says here is turning off personalized ads will limit Apple's ability to deliver relevant ads to you, but will not reduce the number of ads you receive. I'm pretty sure you already noticed that a lot of this is regarding targeted ads, right? So if you disable this, you may not receive a lot of relevant ads for you. I think you will still receive a lot of relevant ads, but your um, information is going to be a little bit more protected. So make sure you disable this. And these are the privacy settings that I highly recommend you pay attention to in order to protect your information and save battery life. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.